Hi, my name is Gavin Farrington. I'm a local and destination wedding photographer based out of Northern California, and I also happen to uh, have the great pleasure of working closely with the Adobe Lightroom developer team. Now, the Degill Stinger is really there for people who are shooting handheld or there's moving objects in the frame, um, but there are drawbacks to using it. One of the ways that you can find the drawbacks is, for example, I'll set this to low, and we'll we have this show deghosting overlay turned on and you can see highlighted in red the areas that Lightroom thinks need to be fixed because there was some movement in the frame. It was a windy day when I shot this, again I was shot shooting it handheld um, so that's why it's picking up a lot of movement in the leaves and the trees and things back here. As you move up you can see that it increases the number of areas where it uh, feels it needs correction for, based on movement so what's wrong with doing this? Well, what's happening is that when uh, Lightroom corrects some area where it thinks there's movement, it's really only sourcing image data from a single exposure. It's not using both exposures to merge the files together. Um, and I will show you exactly how that plays out in the finished product. If you'll give me just one moment here, we'll cancel. So here we are with the merged image. I'm going to open this up. And we'll take a look at what happens in those areas where Lightroom thought uh, there was some movement that needed to be fixed. I'll give this just a moment to load up. Now, I don't know how clearly you can see this on video. I'm trying to keep it as clear as I possibly can. But you can see how nice and smooth the color is through here. Um, there's a tiny bit of noise reduction applied in this image, but not a lot. And then you can see right in here in these edges where Lightroom replaced or use data only from a single exposure, you can see the noise goes way up. Um, that makes a lot of sense because you know, you're not getting the full benefit of two separate sets of merged data in there. You're only pulling color data and things from a single exposure and it has to boost it really hard in order to get it to match what's around there. So that may bother you or it may not. It doesn't bother me a whole lot in this particular example, but I did want to be able to show that to you and explain why um, limited deghosting is generally better. The dev team recommends none when you can get away with it or low. If you have to go up into medium or high, you're going to see a lot more of this sort of noisiness that uh, you probably didn't don't want to get into too much. But anyhow. Um, if this has been helpful for you, I invite you to subscribe to my channel or follow me on my blog. All the details are in the about information below. Have a great day.